Today, we're going to visit the Big Goose Pagoda in Xi'an, China, and the temple just outside the pagoda. The city of Xi'an is in the eastern central part of China. The Big Goose Pagoda towers above a large concrete plaza area where people fly their kites A couple of us English speakers hired a guide for the afternoon. This pagoda is associated with Buddhism. The word pagoda refers to a tiered tower, a traditional type of Chinese architecture. The pagoda may only have a set of stairs on the inside with which to climb to the top. Beside the pagoda, there is a Buddhist temple. This is the large bell rung at four in the morning to wake the monks. The approach to the pagoda is made of marble and was reconstructed about in the year 2000. The Buddhist temple consists of a number of buildings. The lighting of sticks or candles has religious significance. This is one of the Buddhas at this temple. Buddhism is the fourth largest religion in the world. Now within Buddhism, there are a variety of traditions, beliefs, and spiritual practices. Buddhism originated in India, but it made its way into China along the Silk Road. The Big Goose Pagoda is kind of an architectural marvel. It does not use any cement. It does not use any nails on the inside. Our guide believes its construction is the reflection of ancient Chinese wisdom and knowledge. It are reflections of our China ancient peoples wisdom and talent. Yeah, yeah. The Big Goose Pagoda has seven tiers. It's seven tiers high. The Buddhists have a concept called nirvana. It's a state someplace in between life and death. This jade sculpture depicts nirvana. These look like paintings in the temple, but they're really made of jade with naturally occurring jade colors. They are three-dimensional. Much of the art in the temple relates to religious themes. This is Queen Maya. She had a dream that she would be impregnated by a white elephant. And, ten months later, she gave birth. About a white elephant? Yes. To uh, impregnate. To impregnate her, and ten months later, he was born. There are many different Buddhas. This is the Buddha of a thousand hands. Yes, he's a doctor of physics. So he's got a university degree of physics. 10% slower in China. 10% slower. slower. These individuals are praying in front of the money Buddha. Yeah. 
dollar. Yeah. 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 This is the happy Buddha. The story is that he will return to Earth in five billion years. You know, it's very interesting to learn about different cultures and religions and to see foreign architecture. <laughs>